This morning when I woke up, I was woken by the cat. Pretty normal morning really. The cat woke me up. The uh, dog then got excited and started barking when he realised that I'd been woken up by the cat. Woke up this morning and uh, well, after waking up several times, I yeah, woke up and thought about getting out of bed. Then the cat managed to get into my room and uh, was pestering me and uh, hounding me because I'd forgotten to feed her yesterday. And uh, made my breakfast. And then sat down and ate my breakfast, concentrating on what I was doing, eating my breakfast. Concentrating on chewing. Concentrated on what I was doing, eating my breakfast. Pausing to think about the day ahead and attempting to masticate a hundred times. I believe I've peaked around 50 times, never managed to get to 100. In front of me on the table, I had the spoon that I like to eat my cereal with. I had my cereal bowl, which is about this big. Which is about this big. which is about this big. When I finally got out of bed and went through to the kitchen, I would get a bowl, a large bowl, and fill it with um, cornflakes and desiccated coconut and ice cream if I had it, and bananas. And I put cornflakes, desiccated coconut, ice cream, banana, and sugar in a bowl. Cornflakes, ice cream, desiccated coconut, sugar, banana. A whole packet of cornflakes, two litres of milk, and a salad bowl. And then I'd eat it. I don't know how long I'd take to eat it. And then I'd blob out for some time. And then I'd go on to the main work of the day, which was perfecting the chocolate cake. So a ring tin, greased, temperature at a good ingredients, a good temp, <clears throat> a ring tin, temperature at a, of the oven at a good, at a constant, the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients combined and into the oven. I'm greasing a ring tin for even bake and I'm trying to get the timing of mixing the wet and dry ingredients, putting it in the tin and placing it in the oven, which is at the perfect temperature. All done as quickly as possible. Two, three, four. Can't remember how many bits. And then I and then I then I made a, a chocolate cake. On to making the icing. Today I'm making one one batch of icing. Uh, sometimes I'd eat too much of the icing and I'd have to make more icing. I'd say to myself, please don't do that. And I'd, I'd eat the icing and uh, I'd have to make some more. Uh, I have to make another batch of icing. There's nowhere near enough to cover this cake. I'm sitting about making an, uh, another batch of icing and I've decided on what mock cream to use and what fruit conserve. The cake's ready and it's coming out of the oven and I've put it on the uh, cooling rack and now I'm icing the cake, icing every, every, every bit of it.
so it hides the layers of the cake so that when I cut into it, it reveals the layers. There it is, ready to eat. Heavy, sweet, brown chocolate cake. Mmm, I'm gonna have some. My mouth is watering, I'm salivating. Mmm, there it is. Mm. Oh, it's great. It's a great cake. Oh, I think I'll have another piece. Hide all the mm. layers. I had them really well. The mm. layers of mock cream. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good mm. one. Definitely having another piece. There it is. Mm. The chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. Sweet. There it is. Yeah. Dark and heavy. Mm. Well, um, it's not much left now. There was one uh, bit. And I've decided I'll save that for my sister. <laughs>